What's going on guys, Leon Bratt here and in this video I'm going to teach you exactly how you can make your own custom Twitch emotes in about 5 minutes or so. In this video there are going to be two different methods on how we can do this. The first one is going to be Photoshop and the second one is going to be Paint. I've never actually used Paint to make a Twitch emote but I know it's quite easy so we're just going to go for it and see what happens. If it's your first time on the Leon Bratt Music Channel I'd like to say a huge welcome it's nice to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. My name is Leon Bratt. I'm a singer songwriter and a loop pedal artist as well. I stream on Twitch three days a week, every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. All links to those will be in the description below. Also, just before we get started as well, I post videos on YouTube twice a week. Every Friday is going to be a cover of a song or an original music video. And every Tuesday slash Wednesday is going to be a video similar to this, like a how-to video, a Twitch kind of tutorial, any studio setup. You know, that kind of thing. So please do hit the subscribe button down below with the notification bell on to be notified of any videos that may go live, that will go live because the videos are going to go live. Let's get into the video. This is how to make Twitch emotes either on Photoshop or Paint in less than five minutes per emote. Let's get it. Now the first method is going to be on Photoshop. I've taken a few different photos and this is actually one of my emotes that I've already made. So let's just load this up. This is a stank face emote. <laughs> let's get this in. So the first thing that we're going to do is a little bit of color correction. It's not going to be too much. I've taken this photo with a DSLR camera, so this photo is nice and clean. You could actually get your camera or webcam screen up on the PC and then take a screenshot and load it in that way. It doesn't really matter. As long as you've got an image in there, it's fine. So the first thing that I'm going to do is do a little bit of adjustments on here. So let's put the contrast up a little bit. Plus 11 is fine there. And we want saturation. I don't think we really do. We could have plus 5 on that. Just make it pop out a little bit more. Uh, brightness, I don't think we need to put anything up on here. Um, okay. Do you know what? Let's, let's, let's put a plus... Let's put a plus 5 on that. Just a little bit. We need to make this image a square. So we just come over to the crop icon here. And then I'm just going to make this, bring that in there. So just going to make this a square. That'll do. It's 29.01 by 29.03. That's absolutely fine. So like that, that'll do roughly. The next thing we're going to do is cut it out. Cut, it, cut out whichever one you want. Ideally, you want the background to be transparent. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to leave the shoulders on this one. The shoulders are on the uh, actual emote as well. I just think it looks a little bit better for this emote. Some of my emotes are very, very zoomed in and some of them are literally just kind of cut out around the t-shirt line here and everything else is transparent. So if we go from about the shoulders, this doesn't have to be perfect. Do a, do a good job, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Get rid of all of this hair. You know, COVID and all that. I haven't had my hair done. Let's get rid of this nightmare that's going on up here. Okay. So that is done. And then what we are going to do is right click and go feather. Now I like to have the feather radius at about 10 pixels. So just going to click OK on that. So if we come down here, which is just underneath the camera, you can just see that there. Um, then we're just going to click mask. Just like that. And then that's going to give you that transparent background nice and easy. Then we're just going to make this a little bit bigger. That fits in nicely. Yeah, I'd probably say about there. Maybe about there is cool. This size is going to be it's going to look like that size. So you want it to be nice and visible. You want it to be as visible as possible. And also it's worth noting that when you do do a, a feather, this will be a little bit blurry here. So what I would do, what I had to do before is just go to the eraser here and then bring it onto a, like a soft brush and just get rid of that there. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as that is gone there. 
Yeah, it looks good that side. And come over this side, do the same thing. That should be fine there. That's good. It's not perfect, but hey. So next thing we want to do is we want to save it. That's it. So there's three sizes. Three sizes we're going to need. We need 112 by 112 pixels. We're going to need a 56 by 56 pixels. And we're going to need a 28 by 28 pixels. So we want to save for web. Um, I can't actually find out where where the save for web thing is. I always use shortcuts. So the shortcut for this is Control Shift Alt S, and that will bring up this here. You see, save for web here. Then you are going to go to the preset, change this to PNG 24, PNG 24 there as well. Then click transparency, have these two off, uh, unticked. Then we're going to go down to the image size. Put 112 in there, click enter, and then we're going to save. <laughs> There's another one there, gold beard emote, very nice, very nice. Stank face, stank face is fine. And then 112. Always start with your 112. And then same thing again, control, shift, alt, S. Then this should all be the same here, just double check all of this is the same. And then come down to the image size again, click 56, well type in 56, click enter. Save once again, then we can just click on the stank face, change this here to 56, done. And then same again, Control, Shift, Alt, S, image size 28, enter, save, click on the 56, change this here to 28. And that's it, that is it. So now if I bring up the files you'll see that this is a moat here and this is going to be perfectly fine just like that that's the size that it will be so it'll be shown at okay so that is how to do it on photoshop next up we're going to use paint so if you come to getpaint.net and then click on the download just up the top here and then click on the second one down. This is a free option. The first one at the top is a paid option. I think it's about five pound 50, something like that. Click on this one here, which is the free one. And then free download now, click on here. So once that's downloaded, go ahead and open that. Then you can just install it there. It will ask you to confirm all of that stuff. And then you can just go ahead and install. Express, that'll do, I agree. Next, and that's it. Yep, start paint.net. Make sure that's checked and then hit finish. And then we are in. Okay, so I have never used this one before. So hey, we're gonna learn together here. As you can see, this isn't a square. So what we are gonna do is make this a square, first of all. Here we go. So if you come to, over to image at the top and then resize, and then we can put in 112 pixels by 112 pixels. Okay, and un uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Put that to 112 again and click OK. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is come over to your documents, right click on the image that you're going to use and then go copy, come over to paint, click control and V or right click paste and then you're going to go keep canvas size. Yes, we're going to keep canvas size. We want to keep that as 112 by 112 and then that will load in. So now you want to drag this over here, come to one of the corners. I always like to do top left corner. It, it really doesn't make a difference. And then hold down shift because that's gonna keep the aspect ratio and the proportions, meaning that it's still gonna be the correct image, but just smaller. So hold down shift and then you can drag that down here. Probably gonna have to do this a few times. So let's do the same thing again. And the same thing again. Nearly there. There we go, perfect. Hit enter. Now underneath the camera on the screen, you can see where the zoom button is. Just here, you click the zoom button and let's go in. Okay, so don't worry about it all being pixelated because the emote's never gonna be that size. It's always gonna be around this size here, which looks perfectly fine. So don't worry about it being pixelated. It's all good. Next, we are going to come over to the left hand side, click on the eraser, the shortcut is E. And then I guess we just start taking out the background. We come up to the top here as well, go brush width, 
Let's try five. Let's see how that goes there. I'm not going to do this perfectly because we've already done it on Photoshop. But we're just going to take out the background there. And the same for this side as well. Sorted. And then what we need to do is go File, Save As. Then we're going to locate the destination that we want it to be. So let's go Stank Face Paint. Just do that all one word, Paint. 112. And make sure this is a PNG file. That means it's going to be transparent and there's going to be no background um, behind it. So Stank Face Paint 112. We can save that now. Preview size looks good. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's click OK. And with this method on paint, what you're going to want to do is always start with the 112 size first because if you stretch out the 28 by 28 to 56 by 56 and then 112 by 112, it's going to get more blurry. Whereas if you do it the other way around, start with the bigger size first, the 112, then you can bring it down to the 56 and then the 28 and you're not going to lose any quality. The next thing we're going to do is how are we going to make this a 56 and a 28 image? We go up to image at the top in the options here. Then we're going to go resize. We're going to go 56 by 56. Click OK. Then we're going to go to save as again. We can go stank face paint, change the 112 to 56. Save, enter, whichever one you want to press. OK. And then we are going to do the same again. We're going to go to image, resize, change that one to 28 by 28. Click OK. Don't worry, I know this is really like super, super blurry. But when it's at that size, it's absolutely fine. Stank face paint. 28 okay so now if we come over to our documents again you'll see that these pretty much look the same okay the colors a little bit different because we didn't do any color correction on the one on paint but it's absolutely fine you can you can do that if you wish to so next thing is how are we going to upload them come over to twitch and we're going to go top right here we're going to click on creator dashboard then i'm going to come over to here and click on preferences then I'm going to click partner. This may say affiliate for you. Click on that. And then we are going to go down to emotes. And as you can see, I've uploaded my emotes here. There's my stank face actually there. But how we do this, how we upload them is we come down here. We click on, I like to go on advanced. You can just put in the biggest file size here. I like to click on advanced and upload each one. So click on advanced. Then all we're going to do is I'll show you two ways to do this. You can just come over to your files and go stank face 112. We can upload that into there. And that will um, put that in. Or we can click on here and then click on stank face 56. You can do that. Dragging and dropping it is so much quicker. And then the same for the 28 as well. Grab the 28, put that in there. Just like that gives you a preview there this will look blurry it will look blurry but it won't be when you actually put it into the chat so i'm not going to upload this because i don't need to because there's already one there but you can do your un unique code there just go stank or whatever you want to do so that'd be leon br stank then go save changes you can upload that to tier one tier two or tier three depending on where you want to have it let's just get rid of that and click on there and there to refresh it so as you can see here these do look blurry if i zoom in these all look blurry let's reset that again i don't know if you can really tell but these do look blurry still if we go to um channel come over to the channel and then let's go and put one in the chat as you can see there those emotes are nice and clean and it took us like five minutes on each program to do it. Easy. So there it is, as simple as that. How to make Twitch emotes on Photoshop or Paint. 
in less than five minutes for each emote. And the thing is, they're the most used emotes on my channel because they are real faces. People like to share real faces. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy that and it did help you, then please do smash that thumbs up button as that helps this video get seen by other people who may need to see this as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss any future videos just like this one. And yeah, come and hang out on the Twitch streams. I go live every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. And if you wanted more of like an offline community, then the Discord link is down below as well. So yeah, if there's any questions, please do just type them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But until next time, take care. See you later. Have a great day. Peace.